I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when I was trying to go live on Facebook, something happened anyway. Yeah, so I'm I've relaunched the um the first the live on Facebook and I've uh, <coughs> also I've also I have also uh <coughs> redo the topic. So what whatever I'm going to look into it's my opinion and it's not anyone's opinion. So you can formulate your own opinion on what I've said here or what I will say here. Um, this is a good way of communicating, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a good way of sharing information because I'm going to look at uh, Honorable Job Scholars Trees in Charge. Uh, I haven't spoken to Mr. Scala. But I feel like uh, I have to look into the whole issue that led to our member of parliament for Zongeza West, the Honorable Job Scala, to be brought before courts uh, for the Attorney General or the prosecution in Zimbabwe to agree, uh, the Prosecutor General. To agree that uh, Mr. Scala or Honorable Scala, sh Scala should be brought uh, before the court to answer charges of treason. And we all know that uh, uh, Prosecutor General, these are the custodians of justice in, our, in any country. If you are a Prosecutor General, you are the custodian of justice in any country. Zimbabwe is no exception. The Attorney General must be, the Attorney General must, or the, I mean the Prosecutor General must be the custodian of justice. Not the Attorney General, but I'm saying, uh, I, I meant to say the Prosecutor General is the custodian of justice in any country. If you go to Zimbabwe, the, cust the custodian of justice is the prosecutor general if you go anywhere the attorney general is the government lawyer the attorney general is the government lawyer the prosecutor general is the custodian of justice these two people are different the attorney general is is a lawyer who represents the government and the prosecutor general is the uh, custodian of justice in any country so i'm looking at a statement which was issued by honorable job scholar uh, <clears throat> the statement implied that he was ready to allege he was ready to remove uh, ed government before 2023 that is the statement it implied that he was ready to remove ED government before 2023. He was ready to remove ED government before 2023 or before the expiry of its term. That wa that's what the, the speech implied. So I'm going to look into the speech to hear what the speech uh, what actually Honorable Scala said. Honorable Job Scala said, we are committed leadership that will give ZANU-PF headaches. This was in, uh, was it in Bikita? 
at a rally. It was in Pikita at a rally in Mashingo. It was in Pikita at a rally in Mashingo, where Honorable Scala was ad addressing supporters, and he said, We are committed. We are committed leadership that will give ZANU PF uh, headaches. Then he went on to say, uh, whatever uh, Honorable Chibaya or Amos Chibaya had said, to, he was not lying, it was not a joke. And um, he said, uh, we were going to take this war and fight. We are going to take it at the doorstep of ED and ZANU PF. We are going to overthrow him before 2023. And that is not a joke. This is the statement which was issued by Honorable Job Scala, or which was said by Honorable Job Scala, that this was not a joke. They were going to take the fight to eat this doorstep and make sure that by 2023, Mnanga will be gone. And that statement, it was misconstrued by the Zimbabwe government and it was taken as a treasonous statement. Uh, I don't really understand whether these ZANU PF people or these prosecutors or Adon General, whatever you call them, they really understand or they really understand the definition of treason. They don't understand the definition of treason. I'm going to look into issues where the uh, Zimbabwe government, uh, from Robert Mugabe time, charged uh, politicians, charged them of treason. If we look at uh, the likes of Lookout Masuku, he was charged of treason. Dumiso Dabengwa was charged of treason. President, the late, our late icon, democratic icon, uh, President Richard Morgan Changrai was charged uh, with the treason. We look at an IBT was charged with the treason. We look at uh, uh, Honorable Welshman Nube was charged with the treason. This was uh, during uh, Robert Mugabe regime. So far in Zimbabwe, since January 2019 to December, the current uh, government, the one you call the new dispensation government, has charged 29 people of treason. 29 individuals of treason and we all know that treason carries a death penalty once convicted you'll be sentenced to death but looking at the statement that i've just read which was issued by honorable job scholar in a, in a bikita and mashingo does that statement amount to treason to me i say no that was no near treason. It is not a treasonous statement, as far as I'm concerned. And I know you guys you are going to agree with me at the end of this presentation that whatever Honorable Job Scala said, that cannot be taken as treason. That's not a treasonous charge. So we are going to look uh, into certain definitions uh, of treason, dictionary definitions. I think because for a Zimbabwean to learn English, most of us we used to uh, read dictionary a lot, trying to get vocabulary to write a letter to a girlfriend or kamska uh, naona. We try to write that kind of samba, sending it to the girl. The girl will read it and say, "Oh, this is this guy loves me." Because my vocabulary that I knew already, mo mo, apanas na ujita apanas. So, for us to really understand this term treason, we need to look into its definition and uh, from its def dictionary definition. Because why I'm looking at dictionary definition, I need to try to help these judges who are politically used to look into matters like Honorable Job Scholar's case. That if you are confused, with any definitions in terms of law, please refer to dictionaries. We've got Cambridge dictionaries, we've got Oxford dictionaries, 
renowned dictionaries that gives a proper meaning of the word treason. Then, from that proper meaning, then read the statement which was issued by Honorable Scala to see if this was treason. This is <clears throat> why I'm here to look into that and see if this was a treason charge. First of all, let's look at uh, before we delve into the into the actual meaning of treason, so that we exonerate uh, Honorable Scala from any wrongdoing. Uh, let's look at uh, uh, before 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 that. Let's look at uh, uh, <coughs> a number of people. So far, we have been uh, charged of treason by this regime the new dispensation regime has already proved to be worse than the new the old dispensation by charging people um, by trying to bring charges that are punishable by hanging they are trying to threaten people they are oppressing the opposition trying to silence honorable job scala so far, the Honorable Scala has not committed any crime. I assure you, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Job Scala so far has not committed any crime. He is not, because if we look at, uh, um, let's, I'm, I'm trying to get where I put the names down of the people who were charged uh, by this regime um uh, this this uh, 2019 uh, i've put the names down so i'm trying to look where i put the names down so that i can give you factual factual information to say look this is facts that no one can dispute that we don't want to dwell on here on, on, on hearsay or let's bring facts to this presentation because this presentation is the most important thing that i've i have ever done since I started doing this presentation. So I urge the people who are here to, to tag as many people as you can. We want to reach out to people who do not really understand what is really happening in Zimbabwe. You know, when you are just reading about these stories, and when someone comes and tells you about these stories, then you would think that uh, these are just stories uh, being said by people who hate Zanupia, <clears throat> right? But we are actually telling you what is happening in Zimbabwe at the moment, uh, where Honorable <coughs> Job Scala is facing is on trial or facing charges of treason, which emanated from the statement he issued in Bikita, where he said he will bring war on ED's uh, uh, doorstep and by 2023 Mnangagwa will be gone so by, by me saying that uh, our mediocrity po, mediocrity uh, law or, or prosecutor general thought it's proper to charge uh, a lawmaker for treason by saying that which I say this is not proper and it's a wrongful charge brought against a lawmaker in Zimbabwe. And Honorable Job Scala is one of the people who have always been on target by Zimbabwe Republic Police or by the security forces in Zimbabwe. So I'm looking at uh, who is the prosecutor general. <laughs> but let's look at if initially, okay. Before I look into the list of people charged for treason this year, 29 people charged for treason this year, let's first look at the Prosecutor General's office and who is in charge of that office. Right. The Prosecutor General's name is known as Hodzi. That's his first name. I'm not sure about his, his, I mean his first name. Uh, let me look at... Uh, uh prosecutor i need to look at his first name i don't know his first name prosecutor general Woods. let me look um his first name uh good anonzani anonz kumbirai Woods. uh 
Kumbira Awards. He's the prosecutor general of Zimbabwe. His name is Kumbira Awards. He's the man who agreed to charge honorable uh, job scala for treason. Right. Um, this case, I understand now, uh, it has been allocated. This Hodzi, uh, Kumbira Awards, has allocated um, this case to a prosecutor known as Jakari. I'm not sure whether this Jakari is the is the same as Tawanda Jakari, because I know Tawanda Jakari from from a long time. From we had we had like kamuka uh, kaka relationship kataka boita kutara sere name face anunzi Tawanda Jakari. So I'm not sure whether this is the same um, uh, prosecutor allocated uh, this case to prosecute. Uh, honorable job scala. Can I uh, Tawanda Zakari? On, on, honestly, I don't. I don't recommend. Could uh, Tawanda? Can I Tawanda Zakari, the public prosecutor, could utter this case? Ya honorable Swan, the honorable scala. Uh, I don't feel free for him because he's sort of a person are corrupt. You understand what I mean? This guy knows Tawanda Zakari. Can I hear? Who is prosecuting um, Honorable Scala? I don't trust this man. Because he has presided over a lot of cases that I know. One case that I know was a farm. Um, he prosecuted a farmer for refusing to vacate his farm after the government has designated that farm. I still remember that. Patterson, something of that sort. And this Tawanda Zakare was at the forefront of prosecuting or persecuting that farmer for refusing to leave his property. So he's the person who could moon I know I know it was swayed in a political environment. The current political environment that we have in our country is not conducive for democracy. And it's not conducive for especially for democracy when looking at cases like Honorable Job Scala's case where he is being accused of having said a treasonous statement, of which there is nothing like a treasonous statement in the world. Akuna statement in on the treasonous. Akuna. If we look at human rights, the rights enshrined in our constitution, in the rights all over the world of, of citizens of a country, we have got the right to freedom of speech. And there is nothing that can surpass that right to freedom of speech. Whatever you are going to say, as long as it is not put in an act, that is that is that is freedom of speech. You can say anything. No one will mira para bandiga tu kapana bagu. Yeah, Boris Johnson in Imbuga. They can't come and prosecute me for calling John Boris Johnson is a dog. Boris Johnson is not a dog. He's a prime minister of this country. Even if you call him a dog, nothing will change. He will remain prime minister of Britain. You understand? So there is no nothing like treasonous statement. This is a, a misplaced charge on on honorable scala. Right. This charge is being brought by a prosecutor general announced Kumbirai Woods. So I'm going to look at how this Kumbirai Woods was appointed. We all remember sometimes last year that there were public interviews which were held when they were looking for a prosecutor general and the uh, i loved when when these uh, applications were being selected one of the uh, the aspiring prosecutor generals on that platform was known as jesma jome we all know jesma jome she's a former member of parliament in the mdc and she was the only one in that in that panel of lawyers who wanted to be prosecutor general guys guys no 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 if i look at jesma jome the way she fought against the uh, zanu pf government and later on agreed to go and work for zanu pf government we have got some people who are not uh, real fighters of the struggle uh, we, we, when i when i want have been there fighting for the struggle even when he was he had disagreements with uh, president uh, you know, changirai 
He went his way and remained in the MDC and said, look, I'll go back to the core values of the party in 1999. In 1999. And he didn't go to ZANU PF to look for a job like the likes of Jesma Jome. So this, some of these guys, they were in parliament just for money. They were not in parliament for the part. And after they were uh, defeated, Nana Negamska Nakedugaga Kamajo Gamamombe. Mamombe is one of the people who were charged with the treason again. And Murugona. And Munaruno Chagaba, I a former member interviewed for this position. Uh, I think uh, my network is bad, ladies and gentlemen. My network is bad. My network is bad. Something is happening. They might try to interfere with the, my 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 presentation, but honestly, uh, I'm going to finish this presentation, whether they like it or not. Because memory was gigabytes and it's results. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking. Eustace uh, Kanyemba, welcome, my brother. I'm talking about some people we. We, we walked along uh, this struggle. We are now looking for jobs in ZANU PF. And uh, we were in parliament for the MDC. So some people would say, guys, why didn't the MDC do this? Why didn't the MDC do that? And so forth. We had the likes of Wana Obet Gutu in parliament representing our part. We had the likes of Jesima Jome in parliament representing our part. Where they were supposed to have fronted party policies in that in that parliament so that people can have better life in our country but these guys they didn't do that we didn't know that they were eyeing for jobs in zanu pf so they would they could do anything to sabotage mdc but now with all what happened before during changrai's death or before changrai died up to now we have seen the truth we have seen who is who in mdc and who is true mdc one of the true cadres of this part is honorable job scholar who is one person I'm talking about? I'm talking about the treason, treason charge that has been laid against him. A trumped charge that was laid against uh, Honorable Job Scala. And, uh, <coughs> and this trumped up charge has been brought by a man known as uh, Kumbirai Woods. This man known as Kumbirai Woods is the one who was appointed uh, prosecutor general. As my friend here said, Mkoma Yuda looks like a young Mike Tyson. <laughs> when I was, yeah, people were used, people used to say that uh, used as when I was in school. But I, I liked boxing. I used to do boxing quite a lot. And I, people were saying, oh, this guy looks like Mike Tyson. And uh, at the end, people were calling me Tyson, Tyson, not this Tyson. Uh, we're fake. Uh, I'm talking of for the real I only had Mike. Wasn't I scandalous back in But anyway, that is not the topic of the day. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later on. But here I'm talking about a, tra a trumped up charge of treason that has been laid against one of MDC lawmakers who is general, who is a job scholar. Uh, we were. I'm talking about Wewa, Wewa here. I'm talking about Job Scala, Honorable Scala. Talking about Wewa, a, a fearless man, a fearless kid of the part. Even if he had problems with the President Morgan Changrai, went his way. He never left MDC. He remained in the MDC. And when he came back, he just said, I'm going back home. You understand? We had differences, but we have ironed the difference out. Now we are moving as one block as MDC. This is the type of, these are type of leaders that we look at. The likes of Wana Mazore. These are leaders, born leaders, who people we expect to die leaders of the part. So I'm talking about him being threatened to be hanged by this regime, an oppressive regime, brought, this regime brought charges against Honorable Scala for a statement which is not near treasonous. I'm going to uh, put the reasons or the rationale why I'm saying the Honorable Scala statement is not, is not near treason. So let's look at it, uh, that uh, the man who is the Prosecutor General in Zimbabwe, Kumbrai Woods, 
was appointed prosecutor general by uh, by the president of ZANU PF, Idi Munangagwa. <coughs> and uh, this guy was appointed and sworn in January 2019. Remember the statement that this guy issued. He said that in January protests, no one was killed. And that statement only, that he said no one was killed in January protests. Police did not kill anyone. Army did not kill anyone. This is what this prosecutor general said. And that end him a job. That end him a job. So that if you see people saying this prosecutor general office has been, uh, has been uh, corrupted by the executive, this is exactly what people are saying. This is, this is what we mean. Because if he was a true prosecutor general, a man of the people, a man, a custodian of justice in our country, he could have simply seen people being shot by police and say exactly what he saw. But he said nothing. He said nobody, no one was killed. He said no one was killed. To the extent that I think this guy must be put on sanctions. This guy is a, is a human rights abuser. You cannot deny that to say people were shot and killed in January when we saw it happening. And this prosecutor general said no one was killed in January protests. And oh, that statement alone got him a job. Why I am saying that statement alone got him a job? Remember when the interviews were done, there were 10 people, there were 10 candidates who were vying for the position of the prosecutor general. One of the, amongst those 10 people was Jesma Jome. Uh, hi, Ngoma Brighton uh, Zawaira. Z uh, Zawaira. Ah, sorry, my brother. Right. Among the top 10 people, or the or 10 people who had submitted their CVs, CVs for this position, there was Jesma Jome, who is former MDC member of parliament. And there's Tino Chinyoka. We all know Tino Chinyoka. Tino Chinyoka is a solicitor. When he was in, in the UK, he was representing asylum seekers, uh, saying they had fled from ZANU PF. All of a sudden, Tino Chinyoka went back to Zimbabwe to work for ZANU PF. And uh, it's no secret that within ZANU PF, I've spoken to one of the guys back home who is a strong supporter of ZANU PF. The guy said, Shepard, I don't think this guy is normal. I said, which guy? He said, this Tino Chinyoka, I don't think he's normal. I said, why? He said, the people in ZANU PF do not trust him because they suspect he's a foreign agent sent to Zimbabwe to, to destabilize ZANU PF and to get information from ZANU PF and send to his uh, handlers. So I said, oh, really? They're saying, yes. You will never get anything, no matter how much this Tino will write good about ZANU PF or ED or, or what. There is information that the guy is a foreign agent who is working in Zimbabwe government just to see. Uh, I don't know what he wants to see, but definitely he's someone uh, on a mission in the Zimbabwean government. This is what he said. And this was discussed because if you look at the interviews, I added a dog as how are you? If you look at the interviews, Tino Chinyoka came second. And the first, uh, who was first, Anzi Mansebo was first out of this interview. If he did have to appoint someone, he was supposed to have appointed Tichawana Mansebo. Because the interviewers, they were satisfied that this Tichawana Mansebo had come first out of all the people which was in point forms. And if it means this uh, Zimbabwe was serious, that it wanted to appoint a prosecutor general, Tichawana Mansebo was supposed to be to have automatically been appointed prosecutor general because he had fared better than anyone else during that interview. And we, as we know, that the man who came second was Tino, Tino, Tino Mdaishe Chinyoka, that's his name, Tino Mudai. Tinomudai is Chinyoka, that's he came second. Then uh, Mishek Hogwe came third. I know you guys, you know Hogwe, that's Solisa. He came third. Yeah, as he is
Ikepi mai mwana na kuisa ndura kudai. Kuti vanhu vaone face yangu. But when I talk factual things, I want people to see my face. I want people to look at my eyes when I'm talking factual things. But what I'm talking about is about um, Anzi na treasure basogo. Comrade and brother you, the revolutionary salutation to you. Uh, thank you, uh, comrade. We are talking about uh, the treason charge uh, that was laid against the uh, Honorable Job Scala. Uh, after he issued a statement in Bikita telling his supporters, MD supporters, that we've got, we will bring this war to this office and by 2023 he will be gone. And honestly, you cannot say that was treasonous. You can't say that was treasonous because it's no near treason. And what surprised me most is the decision which was made by Kumbirai Wodzi, who is the prosecutor general, to say, uh, to say uh, Honorable Boskala must be charged for treason. Honestly, there is no treason in this. Well, I, I, I'll show you reason why I'm saying there is no treason in that. Uh, I'm saying this guy, Kumbirai Wodzi, is just there to do his political job. He was appointed politically not because of capability. Because in terms of capability, he came, he came number six. He was not even near. Number six, you know, I'm going to go number six. You know, I'm going to go to number one. You understand? So, by mere picking the sixth person, uh, leaving behind second person, third person, fourth person, first person, it shows there's political interference in our justice system. Because this person, this guy, was appointed because of his closeness to the new dispensation regime and the statement that he issued in January to say no one was murdered, no one was killed by police during that uh, <coughs> that uh, uh, that protest, which even led to Sanyatwa being put on sanctions. Right. So out of uh, the first person, uh, when the interviews were done, Tichao uh, Namansebo came first. Tinomda Ishe Chinyoka came second. Uh, Mishek Wogwe came third. You, we all know Wogwe. And Maposa Cheda came fourth. Then Jesma Jome was fifth. Jesma Jome is the person I have been mentioning here that she was the, she's a former uh, member of parliament uh, for Harare. Uh, <clears throat> right. The constituents that Mama Mombe now hold was her constituents. She wanted to be alive member of parliament. She was not happy by being defeated by uh, Chiskana Chelu uh, Mamumbe, Joanna. <clears throat> well done, Joanna. Because sometimes we have to open our eyes and see, ladies and gentlemen, that are these true cadres of the part. This Jesma Jomez and the likes, they were there just for money. This is why you see he's look, she's looking for a job from Zanu PF. I will never apply for any position in Zimbabwe government. I will never do that. I will never do that. As long as Zanu PF is running the country, I will never do that. I will never do that. If you see me applying for any position in, in the Zimbabwe government when Zanu PF is in power, tell me what I see as shepherd. <clears throat> Understand? So I'm looking at uh, my friend, you are being regarded as a foreign agent in Zanu PF. In Zanu PF government today, they treat you as a foreign agent. When you were in the UK, you were representing people uh, saying they fled Zanu PF government. And uh, that led the amount of uh, asylum seekers in, in UK, the British government's intelligence, they saw that people were being butchered. And Tinochinyoka was one of the people who were exposing Zimbabwe government to say, look, the EDs, the, these EDs, the Schwengers, were butchering people. He represented people in the home office, telling them, look, these people are butchering people. And today you go back to Zimbabwe and say you are going to work with the Zanupia. You apply for a job to become prosecutor general. And whilst you, the Zanupia government is telling, is saying you are a, an agent. And the next thing, believe me, ladies and gentlemen, I don't to get a video, you know. Those people who can keep videos, keep this video and play it on, on, the, on the day Tinochinyoka will be buried. And Tinochinoka is not going to die a, a natural death. But Zanu PF is plotting against him. And they are planning against him. Uh, you hear recently that uh, Tinochinoka has been involved in a car accident. Because these guys are plotting shit against him. 
He doesn't know it because he's foolish. But they regard him as um, as a foreign agent sent to destabilize Zanupiev, to, 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 to get information from Zanupiev. So, Tinochi Nyoka, my friend, your life is at stake. If you can hear me live on Facebook, your life is at stake. And I want people to keep this video and play it on the day Tinochi Nyoka will be buried. Because he's being regarded as a foreign agent in Zanupiev. They don't want him any near. No matter that, because if, if you look at the results, he came second. If ED wanted to pick a prosecutor general, a competent one, he could have either picked Chaona Mansebo, but he said Chaona Mansebo is little known in Zanupiev. So the person that he picked came sixth. Number six in the Agatorwa, Kupu Abasa, number one Aisara, number two Aisara, number three Aisara, number four Aisara, number five Aisara. Number five, Agangaru MDC. Number two, Tinochi is a is a foreign agent working in Zimbabwe, sourcing information for, for, for foreign foreign governments, which amount to treason. Do you know the treason? Whether it is treason, you have to go to the job, you have to go treason. That's not a treason charge. Right. So I'm looking at <coughs> um, this guy we call Kumbira Awards. He defended Zanupiev. Uh, by controversially saying that no one was killed by police or army during January uh, 2019 protests, despite that there were uh, medical uh, records showing that most of the people who died there died of gunshots. This guy refused it. And out of that, he got a job. In October, he went on a trick, uh, high court, seeking an order to have this same guy, this uh, Kumbira Awards, he approached, uh, when, when I say this is a political captured uh, prosecutor general, this is what I mean. The guy approached this high court trying to forfeit Waltham Zembis vehicles. He wanted to take Waltham Zembis cars. This same guy. Mm, hello, Atete Sharo, how are you? He approached the high court. He wanted, to, high, he wanted high court to forfeit Waltham Zembis uh, luxury cars. Um... This guy is captured because Muzembi, uh, they fall out with the ED government and these guys fled. Uh, they are in hiding. They are somewhere hiding, maybe in South Africa or wherever. I don't really know where they are, but they fled ED government, a new dispensation, and hid somewhere. But this prosecutor general is following their properties, is trying to forfeit their properties on political round, grounds because these guys, they fled the politics. They are outside the country. They are refugees wherever they are because of politics. And this uh, prosecutor general who is a politician who is following their properties. Last time he was talking about uh, forfeiting uh, that other guy, Anunzan, um, Kasukwere's house. He, he wanted Kasukwere's house taken by the state and sold. He went on for World of Mzembe. Last year in October, he wanted Mzembe's properties to be taken. Because Mzembe and this Kasukwere, they, they don't see um, face to face with the, the new dispensation government. So he is a political prosecutor general, not a, not a custodian of justice in our country. This is why you see he has, taken, he has uh, decided to charge. Honorable job scala. All right. <clears throat> uh, someone, someone was defending him. Uh, I, I spoke to someone about this guy and he said, do you know one? Because this guy was the deputy attorney general um, when Einstein uh, Goba, Goba resigned. Then he became uh, acting. And so from that, this is why he did, had to appoint him. That is not true. And being acting does not necessarily mean you you go from sorrow, but if you go from interviews for a job and if you come sixth you can you can be a priority for it for that job no no remain a deputy there then the Munaita number one to employ you understand what I mean so this guy was appointed politically to become a prosecutor general uh, you understand what I mean? Let's be factual here. Um, and when he came in, we all understand. He promised to tackle high-profile criminal cases. And guess what? Most high-profile criminal cases involve 
senior ministers in Zanupio, involve senior people of Zanupio. And up to today, no one was prosecuted. The high profile cases, the only person we saw being arrested was Chigumba. Passport forfeited, taken to the female section, then released, given a passport back, attended the central, Zanupio Central Committee meeting. That was that. Up to today, no one was arrested. So we don't know. The high, the high, the, 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 his promise to tackle high profile criminal cases. Who, is the, who are the criminals? Obvious. The pre your president is a criminal. Your vice president is a criminal. Your Obetimpov is a criminal. Your Patrick Shinamas is a criminal. These are high profile cases we expected to have been tackled. Up to now, nothing has been done. So this guy is politically captured. He's a, poli a political uh, prosecutor general. So I'm looking at the other day. He went to Chipinge. He, traveled, he went to Chipinge to stop a trial of this guy, Leon, Leon Goman. This this po political uh, general, political prosecutor general, stopped a trial. Even Heinz Leon Goman. Who used high profile names as a national massa chuenga to swindle people's money? And the guy was arrested, brought before uh, Chipinga Magistrate Court. This guy went, this guy ordered the release of that guy and that trial to be stopped because it involved the uh, senior government officials' names, my ministers, my vice president, my now president, and this guy stopped it. But when he come, he promised to tackle high-profile uh, case of corruption. Case of corruption. So, why is this guy uh, decided? Why is this guy decided to prosecute Job Scala? Because he is a political prosecutor. Who should be stopped now? We should not look justice being trampled upon by politicians. You understand what I mean? And this, uh, you know. Uh, Zimbabweans, I know sometimes Zimbabweans don't really know what are the duties of a prosecutor general. Most Zimbabweans do not know. They just know the prosecutor general, prosecutor general, but do you really guys understand what this prosecutor general should be doing? So I've got a little, I've got about three points that you should know, but not they are not limited to these three. Quite a lot of duties that a prosecutor general can do. First of all, as I have mentioned earlier on, a prosecutor general is a custodian of justice. He is a custodian of justice. Someone who takes uh, justice to be his uh, food and drink. He lives and sleeps justice. So for justice to be trampled upon, he's the man who can trample upon justice and no one else. You understand? So my duty is arke, Besides being just a custodian of justice in Zimbabwe, his duties are to investigate my crimes. I got say my high profile cases, you are they are included in these crimes. And he investigates this together with the police. No my duties are again. After my investigation, he decides whether to invest whether to instigate legal proceedings against uh, my culprits or not. No my duties are this is why you see he had powers to stop trial of Leon Gumbami, Leon Gumani, because it was a high profile case that was going to bring in Mana Idis names, Mana Chuenga's names, Mana Chinamasa's names. But he stopped the, the prosecution of that guy. Because he has got the, those powers to decide who to brought to court and who not to brought to court, to bring to court. So the other duty is in court, he must prove the prosecutor general or the prosecutor must prove his case beyond reasonable doubt in court to get a conviction. This is not just a small task. If you go in court, prove your case beyond reasonable doubt so that a conviction is held. This is not an easy task for a prosecutor. And that's his job. So if we look at uh, Honorable uh, Job Scala standing in front of people in, uh, in Bikita, telling the people that by 2023 we'll move uh, ED, 
and will bring this war to his doorstep. Can that be taken as a crime? To say Honorable Scala must be arrested, brought to Mashingo, a high court, to be uh, uh, prosecuted uh, for treason. Honestly, can that be treasonous? And can a uh, custodian of justice agree to the prosecution of uh, Honorable Scala? That's something fishy, ladies and gentlemen. Totally something fishy here. This man has committed no crime. This man is just being persecuted for nothing. They must free Honorable Scala now. And this case has to be dropped. If you can tag this words on this one, or the prosecutor who is going to preside over the matter, anons here, Jakare, Tawanda Jakare. Can I Tawanda Jakare, please? Tag him here. Could I answer Shandru Tauranin? Could Honorable Scala did not commit a crime? Maweza Ara Taura, it's not a criminal offense. It's not even a treasonous sentence. Yakapa or a speech. That is, it's not near treason. Right. So if we look at in Zimbabwe, it's not our first time to have a political prosecutor. You remember Mfesa uh, Inzi, Joanne's Tomama, or Tomana. Sorry, Mondre Girrao. I think Zimbabweans, I'm sorry, Makanga know about Joanne's Tomana. You still remember Joanne's Tomana. He found this prosecutor general seat very hot. By the, during that time, he was called Aton General. He found the seat very hot. And there comes another guy, Ainz Goba who was used by the other regime, jumped into another regime, but did not last long. And I know Bakanda resignation later. They looked at him and said, I but I'm going to Goba. After Goba, I'm going to resign Goba, I became acting uh, prosecutor general. Until these interviews were held, where this guy, Anons Wodzu, came sixth. That means he is not competent enough to be the prosecutor general of our country. Pandonevan was better than him for the position. But because of politics, he was appointed. You understand? Pamaba Flafa, Pama results again interview. Agada number six, surprisingly, is the person who was picked. Could I take prosecutor general? An incompetent prosecutor general. The results alone they show that he is incompetent. He's number six. Ko number one RP. Number two RP. Three. Four. Five. What are number six? My special qualities are now that's a during interview in the RP. The skills that the knowledge and skills that this guy holds, which he failed to exhibit to the interviewers. In the happy at the end he is the person who's getting a job so this is a political prosecutor this is why i said last time uh, prior well, that's what i said that i will say why i think this prosecutor general is incompetent because of the knowledge and the skills that he exhibited during interview is he must know he must not be near this uh, throne your prosecutor general is incompetent. He's just there on political on political appointments, not on competence or knowledge and skills. This guy is incompetent. And I want you guys to tag anyone you think must listen to this presentation. It's a very important presentation. I've never done such a presentation since I started presenting uh, on, you, on, on my live on Facebook. I've done, this is my first time to say I've done a presentation that will be factual and looking straight into incompetence of our people who hold public office. This guy is incompetent. The knowledge he exhibited uh, during interview, the skills that he has during interview, they are inadequate for him to occupy the position that he is occupying today. And his incompetence is, is strengthened 
by mere fact of charging uh, honorable job scholar for a statement that is not treason statement. The statement is not treasonous at all. If you see a prosecutor general charging someone for that statement, that shows he's incompetent. He's got no knowledge of what treason is. And he's got no skills, analytical skills, of looking at a statement to say, there is treason, there is treason, there is treason. The statement which was said by Honorable Job Buscala is not treasonous at all. I think by now you can agree with me, ladies and gentlemen. From whatever I've said to death, or from whatever I've said since I started, that I've taken you stages for you to see that the Prosecutor General is incompetent, lacks knowledge and skills of being the Prosecutor General. He is only there as a political Prosecutor General who presided over corrupt matters and stopped uh, corrupt, corrupt, corruption trials of a guy on that orange, Leon Guman. This Prosecutor General stopped that uh, trial because they were high profile people involved in that trial. So he stopped it. And after he had promised to tackle high profile criminal cases of corruption, as we know, Zimbabwe is a corrupt country. The government we have is the worst corrupt ever in Africa. So what I've said up to now is the guy, he came 60 in the public interviews, but he still picked up for the position. He failed the interviews. He became number six. And that person who failed the interviews is given a job. That's how we look at Zimbabwe government. To say someone who failed an interview, who came sixth, we are giving him a job. Why? That question still needs an answer. Why was this guy given a job when he failed interviews? Why? He scored very low marks. Because there were 10 candidates. He became number 6. He didn't even get 50% of the mark. Was half of it is, is 50% and he was below that. And he got a job. Then you say that guy is competent. I say no, he's not competent. He's wrongly charging honorable job scholar for treason. So what I'm saying here is this incompetent prosecutor, General Watnai, has politicized our courts in Zimbabwe. He's no longer a custodian of justice in our country. And the books shelf yachokana ngumbara ego. Magonya. It's a makeshift shelf nagatenga shelf we got bookshelf we got nigga boss my book are they are too heavy. They they resemble brains and nazo. This one is a makeshift a makeshift shelf if you look at it. It's a makeshift shelf. And I got to track my prank of Tenga, we are going to zero, then try to put it to hold. Otherwise, this is one of the strongest shelves in this country, in the UK. Right. Saga Manzwa, could you? I've cited cases where this guy they stopped corruption trials, and this guy got low marks during the interview. To mean that the guy failed interview and how he got a job is surprising because uh, justice commission in terms of law you understand what i mean guys so a man whose section whose selection process failed integrity test a guy whose selection process failed the integrity tests is the same guy who was offered a job to become secretary to become 
uh, prosecutor general of Zimbabwe, a man who uh, who has a man who has failed his interview, whose selection process failed uh, the uh, tests, has now laid charges of treason against Honorable Job Scar. Mababa Atairebabo, guys, I am saying a man who failed uh, my interviews, who got low marks in the interviews, who has politicized our courts and whose selection process failed and integrity tests has been given a task to be the custodian of our justice. And that same incompetent person is the person who has laid trumped up charges against our member of parliament for Sengesa West, Honorable Job Scala. So, international community, we've got my human rights lawyers, We've got my lawyers, Agawanda. Guys, why are you quiet on this matter? This job scholar's trial must be stopped with Im immediate effect. It must be stopped. Because this trial, is his, 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 his crime has been decided by an incompetent person. By a man who failed an interview. A man who got low marks during an interview. A man whose appointment lagged the integrity test. A man who has stopped a corruption trial to say, no, stop it, without reasons, is now a man being taken as the custodian of justice in our country. And I don't see why human rights lawyers are letting this trial go ahead. And I'm going to look at what is treason? So that you guys can see that Job Scala statement is no near treason statement. The man, this guy, Wamoti Kumbirai Wodzi, is grossly incompetent. He cannot execute his duties as, as a prosecutor general with his, the results that he got during interviews, is incompetent, I'm telling you. He, if I look at him, he's a corrupted man who, in my eyes, is just like Joanne's Domana. Out of 10 people aspiring to be prosecutor generals, he came 60 and was offered this job. He was offered this job. And remember, Goba left in a half. And maybe he is the man who was behind Kutobora Goba, Kutasie Basairoro, Awane Basairoro. Guys, I don't see Zimbabweans. Uh, we, we, we must, I don't see ourselves doing justice to ourselves. If it means marching for honorable job scholar, this should be done. If it means protest for honorable job scholar, this must be done. Protest must be held. Because if we look at the likes of Wana Jesma Jome, as I've mentioned earlier on, is she is the least person that I would think she would go to ZANU-PF and look for a job. But she went there to look for a job. Tinoshi Nyoka, if you look at him, ZANU-PF is discrediting him because of his earlier connections with MDC in the UK. He was representing asylum seekers in this country to the Home Office, telling asylum, telling the Home Office that he fled ZANU-PF government. And today, Tinochi Nyoka has submitted his CV to look for a job in ZANU-PF government, which I will never do. Then ZANU-PF government, they suspect him as a foreign agent, working for a foreign uh, agent to source information from Zimbabwe government. And that could be true. 
Bosi mwishu za tunonzi kwa shinu vaku Zimbabwe government Zininga zishibuda mapepa, zishibuda zishibunyaya za tunonzi kwa Zinyaya ziri secret, zahuti atifana kuzinzwa, patru kuzinzwa Na wa nani? The likes of Tinochi Nyoka And the guy I spoke to last time, he said This guy is likely to be killed in Zimbabwe And mchangu nzwa Tinochi Nyoka was involved in an accident And I wanna go to Nyura Mumvura And nga ato ofa Because stupidity is sending him to be killed Unless if he's using his foreign agents' uh, intelligence to uh, to remain alive, but I know Zimbabwe will send him into the grave, and he should just remember it. I've said to the people when I started, please keep this video. When Tinochinyoga dies, replay it. Replay what I've said here. That Chitinochinyoka is regarded as a foreign agent in Zanupiev. They don't trust him to the extent that they are hatching a plan to kill the bastard. And if he doesn't get out of Zimbabwe now, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be in his grave soon. Because they suspect he's a foreign agent. Because definitely... How can suddenly Tinochinyoka leave the UK to go to Zimbabwe considering the country's uh, inflation, considering its uh, state of economy and the environment which is, you can't compare it to the UK environment and become nobody there looking for a job to become prosecutor general. This is what are uh, the measurements people should be using to see if Tineshi Nyoka is genuine in Zanopia. No matter how much he's writing good about Zanu, bad about MDC, attacking this and that. Those are all the tricks of an agent. James Bond. Read them. This how an agent behaves. Until he is brought to justice, sent to Chikurubi, this is when you will see what I'm saying here, ladies and gentlemen. So, Mr. Odzi, your decision to charge honorable job scholar must be null and void. You are unsuitable for the office you are holding, sir. If I cite the case of the honorable scholar, you are incompetent was to hold that office. This is why you failed the interview. You understand? That's why you failed the interview because you don't worth to be in that office. You understand? So, like what I've said is, Mr. Ward, this office is it's a political appointment. Not a capability appointment or a competence appointment uh, office, appointed office. It's a political office. Soon after he was appointed prosecutor general, guess what? He went straight uh, to participate in the prosecution of ZCT who shut down. You remember that shutdown in January where people were scared. He refused that army and police killed people. He went straight to prosecute those people. Using the executive powers that he has been given by ED, he, he, he is behaving like a constipated parrot. He's behaving similar to uh, Johannes Tomana after we warned Johannes Tomana. If you guys can roll back to part of my videos that I made the presentation during that time, I even warned Johannes Tomama. Tomama, soon he'll be dancing to your tune. It didn't take long, he was dancing to your tune, to his tune. And they called him uh, incompetent. And to, for Hozi, this is very disheartening. That the guy allowed prosecution of those people, even if their lawyers did not arrive. The court cannot proceed with proceedings when they know that the accused is represented and the solicitor is coming. But this guy, Wodzi, never <coughs> did not stop for the solicitor to come. He went straight on to prosecute those people. 
without their legal representation. This is why I'm saying this is a captured office. This is why I'm saying this Wodzi guy, Kumbira, is incompetent. And the office is occupying is occupying the office on political grounds, not on competence or on, on, on knowledge and skills. He doesn't have knowledge and skills of becoming a prosecutor general. Why he failed interviews? And he came sixth out of ten. And why he depicted him as uh, as uh, um, the prosecutor general? Nobody knows. But I guess it's a political office. So this guy has fast tracked for political cases ever since he came with the short investigations. And I don't know why the court is allowing it. I don't know why the magistrates are allowing it. I don't know why the judges are allowing it. There is no evidence. People are just being brought to court, sent to prison. You cannot... If I was a judge, I, I will never allow prosecution of job scholar. I will never allow that. Unless this is a persecution. I will never accept such a short case to say he has said this, so it's treason. Then you bring him to court for treason. I will never allow that. And if, prosec if, if the courts or the magistrates are captured as well, we are sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Our lawmaker who face death penalty. So, what I'm saying is, Zimbabweans, we should come together, rise up, protest for our member of parliament, for our lawmaker. He's facing death penalty for just uttering words which has got no force or overt act in them. Comrade or leader, uh, job scholar, is facing death penalty for just saying something. Imagine he did not act on it. He did not do anything on it. He just said we will remove him by 2023. And treason charge came for that. Emanating from such a statement, which is not treasonous at all. Because he said he's illegally, he's ready to illegally remove ED. Then you call that treasonous, honestly. Being said at a rally, you know, but rally, one can say anything, but rally. But I have to tell you, I have to tell you, do you think where we have some sunga? And I have to tell you, 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 before. 2023, I'm sunga. But because he was saying this at a rally in Mashingo, because it's an MDC rally, this is why they are arresting him. This is why they are charging him. And he's being charged by an incompetent person. Kumbirai was this incompetent. He failed his interviews. He came six out of ten. And because he's politically appointed, he wants to appease his political masters by killing Job Scala. Honestly, he wants to appease the beast by giving it human blood. By killing Job Scala, then you say you are the prosecutor general, then you put your collar up, you walk, say, Muna, this bastard. Because even when I listened to the uh, to the statement, I play time and again, and I can't advocate for removal of Zanu Pio. I can't go around to remove you by 2023. Illegally. That statement alone cannot be a treason charge. Cannot form a treason charge. So I'm saying uh, Tim Rajob, the guys like Tendai Biti, Jeremiah Bamu, na obey shower. Moto kuinya wakumana. But this is not a treason charge. It's a political charge against a job scholar. And this guy, Argun Zakaroy, 
who is representing the state, who has been appointed to represent the state. Kanari uh, Tagawira definitely is a corrupt guy. This guy must not be any near prosecution box. He doesn't know what he says. He just sent people to prison for nothing. You cannot prosecute a stupid case like this. You are just prosecuting both job scala is a is a law is an opposition lawmaker. This is why you are just prosecuting him. Not because of what he said. What job scala said is no near treasonous. And for you to say job scala pay six hundred dollars or pay about five hundred pounds for bail for saying good ah we will talk with some nanga go by twenty twenty three. Then you already it's a treason charge, 500 bell. That's stupid. Very stupid indeed. <clears throat> Very stupid. Because if I look at the previous charges that Honorable Scala faced, they are true definition of persecution. Scala has been trailed by police and security forces. Ever since he came into politics. Thanks, uh, Kanda. Thanks, my friend. I am talking about persecution of a, a lawmaker, MDC lawmaker, Honorable Job Scala. That a competent prosecutor general can say pay 500 pounds um, a bell and go home for saying a treasonous statement. If I listened to the speech, it's no near treason. It's no near treason. Job Scala is innocent. He's not guilty of any crime. And I don't know why are you persecuting him. You have been following him ever since he became he came he joined he came into politics. Unona, if you guys are serious, why didn't you arrest Nduna? Who said he has killed a lot of people? Someone confessing to murder. You never arrested him. You never questioned him one day. A murder suspect confessing in front of a camera that I've killed so many people. You never arrested him. If I was prosecutor general, then I would say investigations must start with Induna. Not this just mere statement. Then you say it's treason. Someone is confessing to murder. You don't arrest him. But you hurriedly arrested our member of parliament because he's just an opposition lawmaker. And we have been targeting this man ever since he joined politics. In 2019, this year, he's the 21st person to be charged with the treason. Last time, I got on a pitam tassa. I'm gonna roam, I'm gonna roam, I'm gonna ponder, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna draw one mamma, I'm gonna roam, I'm gonna I'm gonna say. When I obey, I'm gonna start to charging them with the treason. And I received my ear. You charged all of them with the treason. This is in Zimbabwe history. Kuba Ian Smith regime to today. 2019 is the only year with the highest number of people who were charged with the treason. Since, 19, since, since 1801 to today, Zimbabwe's history, or Rhodesia's history, or Munumutapa Empire, 2019 is the only year that had 21 people charged of treason. People facing death penalty for saying something. That means you have cancelled or eliminated, eliminated in our constitution what we call freedom of a speech. We don't have any freedom of speech in our country. These blood vampires. You blood vampires. If we are comparing Mugabe era in the ED era, looking at the number of people charged of treason, ED has charged more people with treason than Mugabe since 1980. 
We are 21 people awaiting death penalty for saying something. If we look at the people who are going to say they were charged during the era for treason. Changirai, Tendai beat, Holshman Nui, Lookout Masu. All those people were charged for treason, Namgabi. And this new dispensation has perfected size Mugabe's tactics of, of charging people with the treason. And the latest victim, uh, the high profile victim, is Honorable Job Scala of Zengeza West. If we look at what, is, what has been happening in, his, in, in our country for the past two, three years, We've seen that the police, our police force, they act like uh, armed rebels in our country. I'm going to read what my brother Kanda has written here. Zanu PF need guns leadership. We are asylum seekers because of its satanic organization. Just imagine at my age, I already tested the prisons not once, not twice. As many times as I uh, think Jerry. This uh, people might not know uh, Kumbira Ekanda is one of uh, the guys who fought for democracy in our country. The guy has been jailed on several occasions. The guy has been attacked. The guy has been uh, tortured. The guy has a lot of things has been happened to Kumbira Ekanda, but he never went back to anything. He's still on in the trenches fighting Zanu PF. Well done, Comrade Kanda, uh, leader Kanda. But if we look at what Kanda is writing here, our armed forces in our country, they are acting like rebels. They are used to steal elections. They are used to kill people. They are used to, to butcher innocent civilians. But they are the uniformed forces who are supposed to be protecting the people of Zimbabwe. If you see now today, people in Zimbabwe, uh, there the, are people, they call Shurugis, who belongs to, who, to, 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 to that Minister of Intelligence. They go with matches everywhere, hacking people to death. You, you don't see any policemen near them. They're killing people with matches in Zimbabwe. But they are taking Mnagarasa job scala for treason charge, for just saying anything. They are not arresting those matchet wielding idiots, killing people in mines, stealing gold, stealing everything for, for awe and mood. They're not doing anything. Our police force is now the rebel. They're rebelling against the people of Zimbabwe who are innocent, who don't have even weapons. I don't, I don't even uh, condemn Kanda's statement when he said, these guys, they now need weapons uh, leaders. We need to deal them, with them ruthlessly. I don't condemn that statement. <clears throat> because you cannot drag a Zengeza West member of parliament, a job scholar, for saying something. Just freedom of speech. Anyone can say anything. I haven't committed a crime. I'm thinking of raping someone. I haven't killed someone. I did not commit a crime. I'm just thinking I'll kill someone or I'll rape someone. I'm just thinking that garapana. But I haven't committed a crime. Why would the police come and arrest me for thinking that I need to rape or I need to kill someone? Once I didn't commit any crime. Even I haven't committed a crime. You understand? So, <clears throat> this, these vampires, these blood vampires, uh, they have eliminated in, from our constitution freedom of speech. We are therefore not allowed to say anything. Anything. We are zombies. They tell us what to do. They want to tell us what to eat, what to drink, what, where to sleep, who to take out with, to go out with. They are taking Zimbabweans for fools. These bloody vampires. Alright, let's go into what is known as treason. So that you guys understand. You understand why I'm saying Job Scala's statement is no near treason. There is the definition of treason. 
treason mu Zimbabwe Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking at the definition. I put it down. A dictionary definition of treason. It is the crime of betraying one's country. Treason is defined from an online dictionary as the crime of betraying one's country, especially by attempting to kill or overthrow the sovereign or government. Right. My bags were up. I want people to understand this definition before we go further. That an online dictionary, which you must refer to when there is a dispute of uh, definition, defines treason as a crime of betraying one's country, especially by attempting to kill or overthrow the sovereign or government. Here, the dictionary is clear here by saying, by saying, especially by attempting, how do you the word attempting to overthrow? Job Scala is not attempting to overthrow. He's telling you, could by 2023, you can get a visa. But I'm not visa. Job Scala did not cry, commit a crime. He's innocent. The online dictionary is saying, especially, especially, especially by attempting. This is a very important word that even my judges who accepted Job Scholar's trial must look into the dictionary and see this word attempting to kill or overthrow. Job has not, has not attempted to kill, has never attempted to overthrow the government. He just said we will bring the war to you. They should have waited for Scala to bring the war and arrest him. But they are arresting him for, for just thinking that I need to, which is not a crime. Job Scala must be freed, ladies and gentlemen. He must be freed. He did not commit a crime. He's not betraying anyone. Because if it is a if it is a treason, if it is a treason, the offense of acting to overthrow must be key words. Acting to overthrow, he did not act to overthrow. He did not attempt. By attempt is to act. By attempt is to act to overthrow. He never attempted anything. So crime covers some of the more extreme acts against one's nation or a sovereign. The trees in crime must cover extreme acts. Let me say this, people. I am not a lawyer. I am just someone who is commenting here uh, issues of law that para Paragun's extreme acts and the Ne attempting to overthrow the government through extreme acts. <laughs> I don't think a statement by Honorable Scala is an act at, of attempting to remove a government. It's, it's just a statement, it's just a speech which is covered under freedom of speech in, in our constitution of the country. He never attempted to overthrow ED. He never... Uh, did the extreme acts of overthrowing ED or removing uh, ED. The extreme attempts were done by Chwenga, who had allegiance to Mugabe and removed Mugabe illegally. Those were the extreme acts of treason. And Chwenga today must be, must be hanged for treason because he used extreme acts to remove Robert Mugabe. And when he took army into the streets, threatening to remove Mugabe, Mugabe was supposed to have straight arrested him for treason. Because those were extreme acts of treason. I think you guys, could extreme acts were done by Constantine Chwenga. The, the, the time that he, he deployed soldiers in the street, 
That was a, an extreme act. Mugabe was supposed to have sent the police to arrest him straight away. When he went to, when he went to Blue Roof to try to force Mugabe to resign, but while soldiers were busy threatening people in the streets, that was an extreme act of treason. And Chuenga was supposed to have been arrested for treason and charged for treason. That is treason. No, 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 Eustace. Uttering, uttering those words, it's not a treason. It's not an extreme act. It's not an attempt. Uh, don't use common sense here. Use law. Apply law to that statement. And you will find, Eustace Kanyemba, that Job Scala did not commit a crime. When I commit a crime in Zimbabwe, Dana Chuenga, who deployed the army in the streets, forcing Mugabe to resign. And that was treason. Because he had certain units of army uh, treasonously removing Mugabe, a duly elected president of a country. That was treason. You cannot go and say, Job Scala, I will go to the school, I will go to the school, I will go to the school. Our understanding of law in our country, it's an answer. That is not a treason. And that uh, charge is being brought by an incompetent prosecutor general who failed by interview. Agabular number six. But because of politics, he has been appointed, given a job, whilst he failed interview. And we don't listen to that. <clears throat> we don't listen to that, uh, Eustace. We don't listen to that. And we were, Job Scala has not committed any crime. He has not committed any crime. <clears throat> so, another definition that I can give you, Eustace, for you to really understand that Scala did not commit a crime, he is an Oxford dictionary definition of treason that I need to give you. It's uh, Oxford, you know, Oxford, Cambridge, Zimbabwe. English, Oxford Dictionary defines treason as a crime of betraying one's country. So can you say Job Scala has betrayed this country? No. Especially by attempting to kill or overthrow the sovereign or government. Attempting Two. That's treason. The attempting to remove Mugabe and eventually remove Mugabe, that was treason. Job Buscala has never attempted to overthrow a government. A mere statement cannot be taken as treason. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to educate you here. He never committed a crime. I'm saying Wewa did not commit a crime. I'm saying Job Scala is innocent, did not commit a crime. And the Eustace, for your own information, I'm telling you here, the man who decided to bring these charges to Job Scala is a man who failed an interview, is a man who came sixth in an interview, is a man whose appointment failed the integrity test is a man who has even prosecuted um, uh, political opponents without legal representation, despite knowing that these people were represented. He's a political prosecutor general, not a prosecutor general designated to be the custodian of justice in our country. This guy we call Kumbra Wodzi, uh, in terms of law you understand so that person's integrity is questionable and his decision to charge honorable scala is questionable this is why i'm saying here honorable scala is innocent is being politically persecuted as the prosecutor general has persecuted many people politically 
When he came to, when he was appointed, he went on straight to say no one was killed in January 29's protest. I got that one ZCTU. No one was killed. And he used us, can you stand here and say no one was killed? Honestly. Medical reports are there showing that gunshots were the result, were, 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 were the causation of death. And someone, a prosecutor general who's supposed to be prosecuting the soldiers who shot people, the police who shot people, he's saying no one was killed. We've got graves in our country. He never attempted to. He never encouraged anyone. So if you are saying an attempt is an encouragement, then that's not lawful, my friend. You don't really understand what law is all about. Interpretation of law by people who, when, who studied law, they will tell you an attempt is different from encouragement. Because you an attempt is an actual, actual act, which is a crime. And there was no actual act here. According to the freedom of speech, Job Scala has committed no crime. And it was on. That's definition here. Which, which requires an act, an attempt. Wanzo. Nika kuona yu, uchita kupisa mwoti kari yangu panzabu. Kana kaso ipi, kaso ipisa. That is an attempt to ason. You can be arrested for that. Nika kuona yu panzabu, uchita kupisa mwoti kari yangu. Na yu pisika na kata kura wana, waka enda kuna. Ngatano visa ya government yu kutonga. That was an attempt. Kunya mwaka asana kuso ipi visa. That should have been an attempt. But he just said words which are not treasonous, my friend. Let's interpret law. Ugaenda court, you'll be disappointed. Honestly, do you think the government has got money to waste bringing job scholar to court for something he never attempted? For, acts, for no acts of covert? Then you bring Job Scala to court to say, Agata or Shagat. Honestly, Lunga was to a judge who Muni Agata or Shagat, Chete. Or Ata or Shagat, Chichakas or it, nothing. So, Moshe Agari Pap. Job Scala is innocent. It's just a persecution. He is innocent. And Abu Hamza is in prison for inciting acts of violence and there was violence when when Hams, hamza incited violence people went into violence when job scala spoke with by 2023 there was no violence he never attempted to hamza attempted to no hamza acted and attempted to but on job scala's case he said he just said good by 2023, you. And then you call that treason. And that, and you, as you know, treason is punishable by death. <clears throat> so, Job Scala, so far, my friend, has not committed any crime. He has not aided the enemy of state according to the definition of treason. He never aided any enemy of state to overthrow the government. Which is treason. If you aid enemy of state to overthrow the government, that is treason. Job Scala never did that. Calling for Scala to be prosecuted for, reason, for, for treason, that's a misplaced priority by this uh, political prosecutor. He's not a prosecutor, Eustace. Munaga Foira, my interviews, Agapuabasa. And look at this mediocrity he's creating now. He's putting Zimbabwe in shit for prosecuting Nyatsinane Basarese. Whilst the people who kill, soldiers who killed people are not even prosecuted, not even arrested. He should be pursuing that as a prosecutor general of a country whose responsibility is to investigate crimes where people were murdered. is not even investigating anything. But he's telling us with the job is Kalagata Nagu Bisa Idi. Arau Bisa Munu Munu Munagampabas, Saga is against that. And that would job scala ngaura when you talk some nagan babas. And job scala never attempted to. He never acted.
Job Scholar is in court. Uh, <laughs> as is the courts themselves calling him court for re repeating same same utterance in 2014. He's being tried in court. Sanduta Rajustas, listen to what I'm saying before you comment. Job Scala is facing a trial for treason. He's on. I don't know what treason. Second, I took out statement that I got out. Is it treason? Can I also know what statement that you want to be wearing upon the new rappers? So if you look at speech not combined with action, it was just a speech not combined with an action, an attempt, or anything. That cannot be treasonous, man. Dr. Amtemo Eustace cannot be treasonous. Seguru wangu inini wanda ba ningi stole. Seguru wangu inini wanda ba ningi stole. Waka niswa kujeri. Wachinzi wa foma mautu anonzi chumwenji. Endi pwakatoro wa wama siya yo wama chi wakano wa testify agene seguru wangu wachinzi nisi mutakano treni swane chumwenji. That was noba kukusabu to, to substantiate a treason charge. They brought people to court to say they were trained at Chimwenje to remove government. So that was an attempt to remove a government and it was treason. I want you to see differences here. Job Buscala did not attempt anything. Repeated offense, that is not an offense. Uh, Eustace, if you say offense, no one rupees and never. He did not commit any crime. It's not an offense. He's covered by the freedom of speech. He can say anything he wants. That's not a crime. That is not an offense, Eustace. Job Scala did not commit an offense. Speech without action cannot be treason, my friend. Scala's speech does not come close to constituting any treason. Any treason. Akuna in John's treason, Chagata Rona Scala. Akuna. This is just an oppressive government attitude towards the freedom of speech. And this must be condemned. I'm telling you. The government is just oppressive. This is an act of threatening Job Scala, silence Job Scala. So Job Scala can fear to say anything he wants to say. This must be condemned. I urge all the international community to condemn this. This must be condemned. He did not commit a crime. Speech, uh, Eustace, now talk in terms of law, that the speech becomes treason when it transcends where, where, with words like overt act. When there is an overt act, this is when there is treason. When I go out there, no, no address a mob. No address a mob. Mob, you better shot into one thing. You better see what what to go into case to end up to visa government. You turn around to I can be charged by treason with the treason. Because there was an overt act there. But words without that overt act that cannot be treason. Akuna definition of treason is agadaro. That's why the name Zanu. Because sometimes when we go to school, we go to school to do analytical skills. These are analytical skills that we should be employing now. If you are given something, question it. Why is this happening? What happened? When? Who are involved? So we are, if you look at this case, it's, it's a misplaced priority of charging job scale. By who? By a man who failed an interview, who was politically appointed to become prosecutor general of the country, who is supposed to be custodian of our justice and is failing to be custodian of justice, who went to stop a corruption charge, a trial which was happening in Chipinge, stopped it. Because that trial it was involving uh, big names, on Ashina Mas, on ED, on Chwenga and that. Then he stopped that trial. So he's the same person now coming back to charge your Honorable Scala for treason. For, for, for a, a speech that was no near treason. It doesn't constitute treason. 
So this is my concerns. This is my concerns. So we must demonstrate, if possible, against this man and support honorable scholar. Because what what I understand about Zimbabwe is if you act, you are a citizen, then you help a foreign government to overthrow that government. The government which is in place that should be considered treason. That's how I understand it. Not to the treason, the wound of Mira, Munika Mangu, the Tower would I want to go up visa by 2023. No, but that's the treason. There is no treason like that, my friend. And why should we uh and uh I could actually see the other I used as Scala did not act in defiance of established authority. He never acted in defiance. He just said to visa who bring the war to his to his to his door. That was that. And he did not act in defiance. Scala did not attempt to remove the government. He did not act to remove the government. So there is no crime committed here. No crime at all. It's wrong for the state to say his speech is meant to overthrow them. No, no, no. no. It's wrong. Because this prosecutor general is being told that I am employed. Speech you don't visa you. Then you rush to bring that person to court. With a court, and the worst is still uh, Takawira Zareo being given to prosecute job scale. It's like Murutora Mugabe to prosecute Jangirai. That should not be like that. Our courts are captured. Our judicial system is captured. The prosecutors work for Zanupio. They are activists of Zanupio. And they find it uh, easy to prosecute against the opponents of Zanupia. This is what is happening in Zimbabwe at the moment. Saka so, Eustace, you must understand this. Treason, my friend, it involves acting against the interests of a state. Acting, not just mere saying. And it, you, you cannot be arrested for thinking to rape. Boss Banabaga, Eustace, let's say you're going to rape a moon. Then of what's going to rape a moon. That's not a crime. Not a crime, not a crime at all. When you think of removing a government which you did not act to remove, it's not a crime, Eustace. He's not an offender. This is why you see they leave, that they don't convict him because he's not an offender. He's, he's not even inciting anything. It's not even inciting anything. That's a Zanupiev way of thinking, Eustace. The Kadakuza, Kakuti, Dayanga, a fair country, Zimbabwe. Probably, probably, the statement would just be a sedition. Where another uh, clause will be applied, not treason. By mere saying treason, this charge will fall away. It will never work. It will never work. Treason is far more serious, Eustace, than just a sedition, than the slip of a tongue. This is, this is not treasonous. So, no, no, you don't, you don't respect our constitution. That, that is just a sedition. It's not a treason. It's a treasonous act. Saga, for treason, let me say uh, to help my brother Eustace here and some listeners that if you, owe, if you owe allegiance to your government, if you owe allegiance to your government, but do something to overthrow the government or betray your state by harming its interests or by helping an enemy, you are able to to be charged with treason. Uh, I think this is the final nail on, on your coffin here. 
It's if you owe allegiance, right? My brother Job Scala doesn't owe allegiance to Zimbabwe government, right? And and if you do something to overthrow the government, my Job Scala has never done anything to overthrow the government. If you betray your state by harming its interest, Job Scala never betrayed Zanu PF or betrayed Zimbabwe government by harming its interests. He never did all that. He never helped any enemy, Job Scala, to overthrow Zanu PF government. So he cannot be charged with the treason. This is in terms of law. I'm interpreting law. Uh, you know, you know, you know, uh, Korea, it's good that you brought issue of China. Zimbabweans were begged by Chinese. And the Mugabe used to use Koreans to kill Zimbabweans. This is why you see 5th Brigade, a Korean trained army, went to Matebelele to kill innocent people. But they kill innocent people. We cannot give ourselves examples of China where innocent people are killed. In Korea where innocent people are killed. Mugabe went to Korea to take 50, to train 50 brigade, brought Koreans to Zimbabwe, killed a lot of people. <clears throat> because he doesn't respect his constitution. They don't respect the rule of law. You see, this is why you see you are bringing countries. Why can't he talk about outside and say I'm going to remove Boris Johnson by force now. Police will never come to arrest me. They won't come to arrest me. They just laugh and look at me. Turning to the old in a knife, getting into Boris Johnson's office and say, get out, get out. They are acting a crime. I'm acting to remove Boris Johnson. Let's talk about civilized countries, not countries like Korea. Those Mongoloids, you see, Mongoloids people are not civilized. What they only do is do things that are unbelievable in the world. Koreans have been killing people. Mugabe has copied this idea of killing people from Koreans. And it is perfectizing the idea. Which we are saying, no, that is not a good idea. Job Scala cannot be hanged or cannot be killed for saying something. It's, in, it's not an act of treason. If it is in Korea, yes. If it is in China, yes. But we are in Zimbabwe. A country where, which boasts about the uh, highest uh, rate of education. You understand? So if we talk of Koreans who killed Ndebeles, who almost wiped the Matebeleland people for nothing, then if we give an example of that, then we are wrong. We are wrong. We should not be talking about China and Korea here. They are the worst human rights abusers. And Mugabe has copied from them. He did. Uh, it's a network playing games, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. I think it's my network, poor network playing games here. So, uh, what I've been saying is, Scala's Scala speech, if you hear Job Scala's speech, that is a freedom of speech. We should not be brought before any court. The constitution of Zimbabwe allows Scala to say to say whatever he said. The, our constitution allows him to say that. And if you listen to Job Scala's uh, speech, it is well supported by logic and rationality. No harm was even caused to anyone. And no harm was intended to, to cause to anyone. So Scala's Speech was well supported by logic. Freedom of speech can be in form of speech or in writing. It must be backed by logic, rationality and reasonability. If you look at Job Scala as a speaker, he really thought of his speech because he knew there's no crime on it. And remember, this one is a lawmaker. Is a solicitor by profession. So his speech was well supported by logic, rationality, and no harm was intended to anyone, and it has not caused anyone harm.
So it's just this fighting government which is angry and using its elements of oppression to say, look, arrest Job Scala, prosecute him, sentence him to death for just saying a speech. Scala has never committed a crime. It's only a greed, Zanupiev. You know, these dictators, I laughed yesterday when I, when I was talking to someone, we were talking about Victoria Falls, that it is dried up. And I said, you know, it's caused by these dictators around the world. People who go around killing people, spilling blood. If you look at Zimbabwe now, they are listening to this speech by Honorable Scala. Honestly. To say he committed uh, treason, honestly. This shows that Zimbabwe is a collapsed state. It's a collapsed state, our country. Its economy has been devastated by these dictators. They just accuse anyone for anything. Tendai Bitu was charged for treason. Don't forget that. Morgan Changrai was taken by Ari Beni Menashe and charged for treason. For no apparent reason. For f these were frivolous charges. They, 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 they want to distract people from concentrating on their corruption. On their stealing, the theft that they are doing. This naked plan of treasure. Financing uh, an ending... Uh, flies to different countries to sell Zimbabwe like tomatoes. Wanton destruction of a country. Now, you stars, you've got no future in Zimbabwe. And you can't talk of the past in Zimbabwe. I've got no future in Zimbabwe. I can't talk of any past in Zimbabwe. Tato Chembera, Kushikama 50 years, Usinacha Unacho. We're in a foreign country, working like a donkey here. Because we don't have a future in our country. The country has collapsed. The economy has been devastated by vultures. And these people have been stealing, doing corruption. They are trying to raise all these issues about job scala to distract you from real issues in our country. That they've destroyed your future, my future, our children's future. Saga, if I was this guy, I don't know Tawanda Zakaro, but as I know, if he if it is Tawanda Zakari who is prosecuting job scala, and I know this guy, this guy is Sanupiev in blood. It's just like Eustace. But it's just bitter about removal of Mugabe, but it's Zanupiev. And this is the same guy like Tawanda Shakaro. If he's the one prosecuting uh, this case, then the judges have a problem. They've got a problem. Because I still remember very well when this guy was presiding over a matter or prosecuting a matter at Patterson. He would he had refused to vacate the farm because the farm was designated. It's pathetic prosecuting someone who do ramba ku vaiwe pa property yako. Budamba magum no ramba, then you take him to court. The court will agree to say, okay, let's prosecute him. Job Scala has no case to answer. He's got no case to answer. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with what I've said today, I've been looking at this case. Yeah, job scala. Anzi wa gara uri do for you da. Whether in the UK, you say, Ne anda ka guicha minuka. Do chogo adi. Do chogo adi. Kudi, apa, apa. Muna anga gara ringo uri do for. So, if we look at Tato Chembera, guys. Tisinacha tinacho. We try to look back in Zimbabwe. Uh, most of the guys were in the UK when they left the country. Wakatengsami Zimba, wakatengsama properties. Wachuya ku UK, kutuenda kunushanda. 
Pamuwaitu within six months in this country. Nenda tenga imba yangu ya ndaka tengesa. Nenda tenga ndaka nufura business rangu. Nenda wako beku Zimbabwe ndono garandutanga kuta business rangu. Most people wa idaro. Vani ma 20 years in this country. 19 years. Wamo kaya 2000. 19 years in this country. Kamu vunza yapa 19 years zaka garamu UK. Une imba heri. Ana imba mu UK. Imba ya kaya tengisa ku Zimbabwe. Ana kwa nisa kuitenga. Business rider kuna ufura ku Zimbabwe. Ari yiko business rider. Kuna mwa kambo. Tu ya kuna sa mari wa kata watu ma business. Vese shikaru wana inflation. Wana waka sara wa sina mari. Nishiru kufunga mari ya yu makaundu mangu kebs. Tundika zikara wa Zimbabwe izu zizu. None wana hiri mwere. Hamusina kana send. Mayone 149 billion mazimu mabon. Ma, Atasina hiri mabon. Tuna hiri mabira checks. Mwere andaka bagu. Saka a lot of things. That has brought Zimbabweans down. That has brought you guys into paupers. We are like beggars. We are paupers. Anumurugona. Well, since we are kufira munum. They have given burial. Paupers burial in this country. And I told my friend, the Angus. I can do this, guys. You know, we've got a guy from Zimbabwe. We've got a guy from Zimbabwe. He built a mansion in Zimbabwe. At the end, I know what you know. I don't know what you are in Zimbabwe. I don't know what you are in the UK. I don't know what you are in Zimbabwe. I don't know what you are in the latest. I don't know what you are in the latest. I don't know what you are in the Banya ni ma girlfriends, wachivaka ma mansions. Ashingo dzoka kuya pa 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 Heathrow Airport ab. Ma British wachim tata eighteen years in jail. Yes, I'm speaking is seven eighteen years in prison. Ande ona. Doa mo ano udwa ifu vai vai ndaku Zimbabwe wachivwa tu ano life iri nani nana UK. But honestly, most Zimbabweans in this country are struggling. Struggling. Ma ma kono ma basa tu shanda wajinzi. Wanusha nama basa mashinu wa ntuone kwa nzi. Wanusha nama basa mashinu. Wanu wakawa ya wakastada wana loo. Immigration lawyers. Wanu wanutu mbutu bate itumari. Wanu wakawa kwansa kuta ma accounting degree ya waka ita. Wanu wakaita wama nesing. Ununurara waka shinura 12 hours. Wichanda kutu uore mari. You understand? Most of these guys are wana cha wana chuku Zimbabwe. So we cannot talk about life back home you cannot talk about life back in this country you have got two lives to survive no no gara opinion with Zimbabwe no gara opinion with UK with UK with Zimbabwe 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 you understand what I mean a lot of guys who are going to have properties with Zimbabwe who are going to have a combi 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 and when we write Samaru Dara, not this time. A lot of people are not employed. My industries are kuna. The economy is destroyed, devastated by these vultures. And um, so as in your problem, Laz, how can you say prosecutor is political aligned? Is political aligned? I don't want to I don't want to and so that my joker. And that the prosecutor general are going Zimbabwe at the moment. Anons words. Pagati kama public interviews. For you to understand what I'm saying. Pagati wama public interviews in the country. Why nama public interviews. Marizaos no ba release wa. Ne justice commission. Ya release a marizaos. Muna ganga hari pa msoro. Agaita number one. Eee. Asiri ya kapo inuwa kuita, kuita public prosecutor. Munangari number two, asiri ya kapo inu. Munangari number three, asiri ya kapo inu. Munangari number four, no. Number five, no. Wakano tora number six. Munaka four ira an interview and was appointed prosecutor general in our country. That means according to the interview, the guy got low marks and the guy is incompetent. And that same guy has been given the job. This is why I'm saying he's just a political uh, prosecutor. He's not a competent prosecutor. The purpose of you, you start submitting a CV to end up interview, Chubuda number one, is the purpose that you are number one, you should get the job. 
Be transparent. So there was no transparency in this matter. And the person appointed to be the prosecutor general was appointed on political on political grounds, not on capability or competence or on knowledge and skill. I think I've answered you, Eustace. You can you can clearly see what I'm saying. You can clearly see what I'm saying. That an incompetent person has been appointed to be a judge. If you look at Wanupawaka uh, Pindam Road, Bachino Bisa Mugabe. Mugabe was highly incompetent. He was a president who cannot run a country, who failed to run his his affairs, my family affairs, Mbamabo, and on. He, who, who, on, 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 he was just an, an adulterer, a person who sleep with someone's wife whilst the husband is alive. The person, at the end, when Mugabe was removed, because an incompetent president has been removed. And we never thought that the removal of Mugabe was the coming of E.D., who had been sacked by Zanupiel, and who was more incompetent than Mugabe, to the extent that today people are now seeing that even Chwenga Gamirab, you can say that is a vice president of the country. It's an insult to people of Zimbabwe. He did to stand there address Zimbabweans. It's an insult to people of Zimbabwe. Saga, we removed a, a less competent leader and put an incompetent leader in the administration, and the country's fucked up. Nikayato Parara, where's Gona? Mgabagasia, Victoria Falls, it's Popoma. Just go for two years down the line, 24 months down the line, Victoria Falls, Yaoma, Aisinamvura. That's incompetence. Ukaona, Maura Yavanu, Madeura Ropa, Ruska, Mizimu, Nika, and Marish, not Sama, Kutkana Mvura, Chacha, Musala, Paikuno. Got us some Vura Guna, Zimbabwe, can also as we see. Just find out who to Pagatanga on Amvura, Miss Mbabos, Kapatashka, the same Bonopa, and Anganoro and the men. The fools who won a man. But there's something wrong. Chataka Pesan and Achom Zimbabwe. That these leaders should sit down and look at. Canari Marata Gumbura will look at Machetis Arms Zimbabwe, Mondragaita. Miss Mbabwe, I think I would Tavura Ramanimina. Muna orumu wa kuroga sunga masutu wajifugamira makandiwa. Wajifugamira e, magaya. Waj, wajino bisa maria kutipa itu mnana. Maria wa times two times three. Wajinzi maria uja zona times ten. We are becoming lazy. Takuta sila minana. Mashura kupa kuma profita mzimbabwe. Jaku kwenzira uti ipunya ngwe ni, 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 ni mapopo machayo awome. First time in Zimbabwe history. In about three five hundred years ago, could Victoria Force in Unga Chuoma? You understand? So, Ruthard. The Ruthard government that now has devastated, has destroyed everything. Kuvang Vic Force, Church and Vriaga, I shall skim up for Pom. Kakosara to Machoro, Choro, Choro, it's useless now for tourists to travel and saying we're going to see the seventh wonder of the world. That's no longer, uh, unless we are talking about drying up, you read a big force, the seventh wonder of it was it's drying up. Kariba Dem, now it's got no water. Nika is not gates. Quite a lot of things, Eustace, Zandata or Panaba, we should, we should be considering. First of all, they must stop persecuting Job Scala. Job Scala has not committed a crime. Speech up on a job scholar, that's not a crime. If you want, I can read the speech. Deny your speech, then you people, more And chew the card like a cow. Vaskala Vagata or Akut. We are committed leadership that will give Zanu PF headaches. And Amos Shibaya was not lying or joking about the war and the fight we are going to take. To the doorstep of ED. We are going to overthrow him before 2023. That is not a joke. 
That's what he said. Can you say this is treason? Chwenga mnozo mchaja ne. If you say job scala, what he committed is treason. Treason, I see. Kanya eko kutu muna wabama suizi ka. You understand what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? Nufuka manyazo nzugisa, shandruku cha orapana. That is not treason, Eustace Kanyemba. You cannot say that is treason. Unless if you are harboring yourself, Munguaya Mgabe. When Mgabe was busy butchering Zimbabweans, I told her on a banning store, I told her on a jail, I told her on a tender bit, I told her on a jail. That's treason, treason. When I look out, Masuk, when I do miss or Dabemba, that was Shamsan down the mother of Mudaku, we got Dumso Dabemba by Rosega, in Madame Daradi, you as treasoners. It's either the definition of treason, Muzimbabwe's constitution is not properly uh, defined. Kanamana Shinesa, in Mimitorai, my definitions are in my dictionary. And use those. Was I can't know what it's English, but it's the churum. You know, let's go understand that we can already Zimbabwe. You have to think in Shona, you Shona lies, then also change with such churum. Because English is not our first language. You're comfortable in speaking Shona, not comfortable in speaking English. Obvious mun wese will translate inside his head. Not out of a churum, not a chin, a churum, and I don't jack at. At the end, Tupama definitions are serial a treason. But the uh, actual definitions are there in dictionaries, online dictionaries, everywhere. And go on, our former way, the treason, Raja Vice, or the Vice, or the Vice, not the way the Russian Swanaro, the Zimbabwe government. And this prosecutor, Omurta Radofoy, runs Wazir. I told Mozivi where to apply this word treason. And it more. Those are root or a panaba users. I think you agree with me now that Job Scala is innocent. This is just a political persecution. He has not committed any crime. And it more. Saganaywaya. Ah, she gain did say. And the ladies and gentlemen. And that sandy summarize and cheat. The mediocrity we are watching, we are witnessing in our country, the incompetence of the prosecutor general, Anons Kumbirai Woods, is shocking. His decision to charge uh, Honorable uh, Job Scala, the Zengeza, uh, Zengeza West member of parliament, the decision to charge him for treason is shocking. The statement that Job Scala said is not near any treason. It's not treasonous. It's not treasonous at all. And the person who is charging Job Scala, who is entrusted to make decisions to say Scala is, must be charged of treason, he went through an interview, public interviews, when they wanted to select, when they wanted to employ a prosecutor general, and the person ended up through Agabudar number six to show that he got low marks, and it means number one, Agabudar number nine is Chawona Mansebo. He was number one. Number two, Agabudar number nine is Tinombla Ishe Chinyoka. Number three, Agabudar number nine is Mishe Kuhogwe. Number four, Pagabuda Munayin's Mafios Cheddar. Number five, Pagabuda Jesma John. Number six, Kwakuzo Oya Dofo Raapo Rakazo Tu Rorika Pua Basa. Iruri Dofo. Very incompetent. You cannot charge someone for treason considering or if you analyze the statement ya akapa. And the courts should not allow that to happen. Should not allow that to happen. Should not allow that to happen at all. Saka, this position ya pijiga, ini majutis. I'm just summarizing of what I've said. If we look at majutis, it's to, this, no foiri, no rugunz is custodian of our justice. What should be the 
PG do? His duties are to investigate my crimes together with the police, decide whether or not to investigate my legal issues or to take people to court. And in my court match, he must prove beyond reasonable doubt that a crime has been committed. And if we look at Job Scala's statement, you cannot go and defend and, and prosecute that. You can't prove anything beyond reasonable doubt. There is doubt that the statement was said, which is fine, but the act was not done. So that is not beyond reasonable doubt. No crime was committed by Job Scala. No treason was committed by Job Scala. This is a clear sign of, pers of persecution. And it demands what? Saka inini, you go natawa to wakuma naga, imi mchisara ya murare mwite zwa muda. I'm bring, I'm coming up with another, uh, with another presentation which will be short. I will wait for my colleague in America to come live. Chief, imukana uyo, right? I thank you so much. Job, usaha shika skala, auna mwosha ya kapara. I'll try. I've never spoken to Job. I tried to send him a message and I don't reply. I tried to call him and I don't reply. That only just about what's going on to our colleague Job Scan. He's the most vibrant politician at the moment. Man of the moment. And they, they fear Job Scala. So they are trying to kill Job Scala because they're scared of him. If they were not scared of Job Scala, I statement they wouldn't go the Rascala of Koti. I statement they would just look at it off. I don't know what to George Chifamba, and come. George Chifamba, I, I, I'm sorry, my friend. I don't come to Zimbabwe. And I've got no intention of coming to Zimbabwe. I'm not testifying on anything, but I'm analyzing. Uh, this treason charge. It's very unfortunate, my brother. I'm so sorry. Because Zimbabwe, I mean, stay there. I don't think you need me to Zimbabwe. I've got different, different uh, uh, things. I've got different things that I like in my country. And on. If it means coming to Zimbabwe, just like a visitor, I will never come to stay in Zimbabwe. They tell you they don't want to settle in Zimbabwe. It's very unfortunate, George, that people, even Zanu PF people who left the country 20 days ago, they don't want to go back to Zimbabwe. So don't just poke on me. Uh -uh. Uh, they left Zimbabwe coming coming to the UK, going to different countries. Oh, no. Because it's a shit war country that no one likes to live in it. Even President Wenchai Chanon's ED, he doesn't stay in that country, stays in a plane, flies everywhere in the world. Mugabe never stayed in that country. He was just a visitor to that country and he died in Singapore. So no one likes to be in Zimbabwe. Those are going to passport office, which you can passport office. Every Zimbabwean wants a passport and doesn't want to be in Zimbabwe anymore. Because the economy has been fucked up. Understand? These gangsters are tomorrow and they're not going to be able to do it. No, but they're not going to be It's very unfortunate. So, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, Zimbabwe police. Or uniformed forces are suffering. So I'm going to discuss the topic Iyoyo soon. Sagarodi Varipo, stay put. Thanks so much. Stay put.